Hi, I'm Ken Martin, the DFL Party Chair, and I want to welcome you back to the Chair's Corner. We are just four months away from one of the most critical elections of our lifetime. In the last two weeks, we have set up our ground game by opening 16 offices in all corners of the state. We have organizers and field staff who are ready to start talking with voters about the choices we are facing this November. There are two very distinct visions and paths facing voters, and I believe Minnesotans will choose the path forward that President Obama, Senator Klobuchar, and our DFL legislators and candidates have laid out. The reality is that our state cannot handle two more years under Republican leadership in the state legislature, and Minnesotans in the 2nd, 3rd, 6th, and 8th District deserve true representation from leaders who are willing to make the tough de decisions and fight for Minnesotans in Washington. I am honored to welcome one of our four DFL challengers from the 6th Congressional District, Congressional Candidate Jim Graves. With jobs and the economy being a critical issue for voters, we are proud to stand behind a proven business leader who knows what it takes to create jobs in this state. Thank you so much for being here today, Jim. Ken, thanks for having me. So why are you running against Michelle Bachman? What issues drove you to take on the face of the Tea Party in this election? Well, the primary thing in this uh, election is we need to get Congress back on track. We need a uniter. We need a person that can actually build jobs, livable wage jobs. We need somebody representing the 6th District that believes in the people and will be there for the people, and I'm that guy. Excellent, and thank you so much for stepping up and running. Now, you're, you grew up in St. Cloud. Uh, you you uh, uh, and your brothers and your family uh, went to Catholic school there. You uh, know the district. You know the area very well. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background and uh, what it meant to you growing up in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Ken, I grew up in St. Cloud on the north side of St. Cloud. And I grew up in a family of six kids, a Catholic family, a working class family. We learned early on the value of hard work and the appreciation of good work. And my folks always taught us to do well and give back to the community. And that's what I'm doing now. I uh, went to a Catholic grade school, went to Catholic high school, worked my way through, paid my own tuition. And then I went on to uh, uh, St. Cloud State University and got an education degree. So the DNA in my bones is St. Cloud in the 6th District. Excellent. What do you offer uh, to the people of the 6th District, to Minnesotans, to the country that Michelle Bachman does not offer? Well, first and foremost, uh, I can walk the talk. I create jobs. I believe in jobs. I believe in the working person. I believe in livable wage jobs. I believe in the right to organize. I just believe in the people. And the difference between Michelle Bachman and me is that I'm going to work for the people every day. And I've done it before. I've brought people together, created a lot of economic activity. And I don't think she's done that. In fact, I know she hasn't, and I'm ready to do it. I, th I think the contrast is so evident when you look at a career politician in Michelle Bachman and someone like you who spent most of your uh, professional career creating jobs from the ground up, uh, creating businesses, successful businesses that employ thousands of people throughout the state. Uh, that's a contrast that I think is going to be a winning contrast this year for DFLers in the 6th District. You've been working hard on the campaign trail, talking with voters, uh, meeting with community members, walking in parades, and working to raise money. What are you hearing from people in your district? What do they want uh, to see from their representation in Washington? People want to see somebody that's really willing to work for them, to serve them, and not promote their own personal agenda. And they know that I'm going to be there for them. Uh, they also know my background. They know that I've been there before. I've built projects from the west end, from Avon, to the east end over to Forest Lake and, and the Stillwater area. So I know that district really well. I know the communities. I've worked with both sides of the aisle. I mean, Republicans and Democrats know me, and they know that I'm going to be there for them, and I know how to get things done. And so I'm hearing really good feedback, great feedback. Excellent. Now, some would say, why now in your professional life? Uh, why did you choose to step forward now and run for Congress? You're a successful businessman. Uh, you do well uh, professionally. Why run for Congress at this critical juncture? Ken, it's really important. My father and mother taught us to give back to the community that gave us so much. And I've been very fortunate. The American dream has been true to me, and I want other people to have the same opportunity. And it's a time in my life uh, that I can actually give back. My kids are grown, my son is running the company, and it's just my time to, to serve. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to serve. Excellent. Throughout the next several months, uh, four months left now, how do you hope to connect with voters? Uh, what can DFLers in the 6th District and across the state do to help uh, not only you, but your campaign and get that message out? 
Well, you know, they can always go on our webpage, jimgraves.com, and make a donation uh, of time, talent, or money. Uh, they can also just get on board and, and write editorials and go on our Facebook and, and contribute. But most importantly, they can come out and visit with me. I'm going to be out there every day of the week from now until November 6th in the parks, knocking on doors, uh, in the cafes, in the businesses. I'm going to be talking to the people. Come out and, and, and meet me and find out what I'm all about. And I think you're going to like what you find. And because I love the people, I think they're going to like me too. Absolutely. Well, I think, you know, obviously uh, uh, there's some in, in uh, the 6th District, there's some in Washington who say that uh, Michelle Bachman is uh, unbeatable. Uh, we know different. Uh, I know you know different, uh, that you're going to work hard and go out there and make sure that you knock on every door, talk to every voter you can, and make sure they understand the, the stakes in this election. Uh, if you could talk directly to the voters right now, what would you say to them about this race? I would tell them that we're going to win this thing. Uh, we've got the support, we've got the, the basic message that the people want, and we've got the polling that supports that, Ken, quite frankly. The people want a change, they want a moderate, they want a person that understands the value of good work and that we should compensate people accordingly. The people want a change. They want somebody that can give them a positive message and actually get things done for the people. They're going to like what they see and they're going to like what I do in Washington. Well, I think a lot of people will. We're so glad that you stepped forward to run for Congress. Uh, we're so glad that you're our DFL endorsed candidate. Uh, more importantly, uh, I'm looking forward in November to being able to call you uh, Congressman Jim Graves uh, to make sure that uh, we're, we're rid of uh, Michelle Bachman in the 6th District once and for all and that we return fair representation to the people of the 6th District who so desperately need it. So thank you so much, Jim, for Can't being thank here. Thank you and thank the you for, for all your support. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. And I encourage you to visit Jim's website, check out his Facebook page, and follow him on Twitter to learn more about Jim and get involved with the campaign. Uh, thanks again for joining us today. We look forward to having you join us for the next Chair's Corner, featuring another one of our great DFL congressional candidates. Thank you again. We'll see you soon.